ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Woo! Ready. You ready? Everybody? Hello, Psychobackers! It's time to talk about Psychonauts 2 again. I'm here with Zach McClendon, the project lead of Psychonauts, and we put on our special denim three-piece suits to talk about what's new in the projects. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff is is new. A lot of it uh, is a little secret and spoiler. We don't want to ruin We're not gonna secret ruin it. brain content. Secret brain content. But we can show stuff. Uh, but we are at the point where we are uh, just getting out of pre-production right now, uh, which means we have determined what all our levels are, all the places you go, all the things you fight, all the crazy psychic powers you have. Um, we've built a lot of those foundational systems, uh, focusing a lot on Raz's core moveset and kind of his early powers. Um, and we're just starting to build out our giant hub and our first brain levels. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing we were going to show today was uh, our new version of, uh, of Raz. Raz, but it. Raz was perfect before. What? That's, and he died mysteriously. No, he's, oh, I forgot uh, to mention. In case you haven't <laughs> played Rhombus of Ruin, he did die. die he just dies right at the end. It's, no, Raz uh, does not die. Um, yeah. How did you make Raz? Did you use polygons? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we sort of had this idea that we wanted to have him you know, dressing like he was a little bit older, trying to fit in with a lot of the older kids uh, around the, the Psychonauts headquarters and the other interns. Um, and so Scott just did hundreds of variations of different slight changes in his outfit um, with different combinations of kind of the Psychonauts uniform and his old outfit and stuff Sasha would wear. The original designer oh. of Raz. Yes. Is back. Is back. To design new to Raz. Design new Raz again. Lovingly. How do you feel? How does everybody good. feel? Good stuff. Good start. Everything else going good? Everything's going good. We're like kicking off the levels. We're doing early concept development on it. Scott's doing actually a ton of characters for us. Yeah, I mean, that's the really great thing about having Scott uh, on board doing all the characters for the game because he's got such a unique style that's so intimately connected with the look of Psychonauts. I draw stuff and show it to him, and it's like a long process of like him liking it or not liking it or kind of liking it. What do you um, and really non traditional. I mean, I think it was one of the things when you got involved with him back on Psychonauts 1 was he really was not the kind of person artistically who'd be working on video games traditionally. And it was yeah, cool. and he's not working on video games right, right now. I just think you want to put something in video games that you haven't seen in video games before. I think sometimes it helps to have someone outside of video games bring that aesthetic in. We have Rusty building the new model, and Rusty's the guy who built the old model. Yeah, and he also built the Romus of Ruin Raz, right? Yep. Yeah, so yep, he's, yep, he's yep. The only, he is the only person to ever model Raz, actually. I think, yeah, he's the only <laughs> person who's built an official you, Raz. Do you not trust anybody else to model Raz? Yeah. Yeah. We better be nice to that guy. Did you show him the new Raz? Oh, the model. So we can show him that. Oh. Uh, he's he's modeling the new Raz. Can we show him that? Uh, I, mean, I think he might be under He's NDA. under NDA. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me... You promised not to tell, right? <laughs> These are so many drawers you can see we're building Raz that Scott really cares about the exact shape of the earmuffs. And whenever we do any sort of like toy or doll or painting or whatever, there's always like, they're not the right size and he always draws over them until they're the right shape. Yeah. And then some of the shapes like the, like the buckles and things could be pushed, the wonkiness could be pushed a bit. How, what's the wonk factor on that, Rusty? Only about 15% wonky. Yeah. And then Scott can give him sort of very detailed uh, mm -hmm. feedback on how the model may be departing from what, what we might think in the mm -hmm. um, Yeah, Now he's strong, look at that. Yeah, I know. How did he get his head? How does he get his head through anything? He's got a Mardi Gras head. <laughs> he's just got a big old Mardi Gras head. What is this amazing space that you're in, by the way? Uh, this amazing space is uh, what is lovingly known as interior art test. Ooh. Underscore HQ. Uh, no, so fans uh, are gonna go nuts when they realize they get to go to <laughs> underscore art test. Uh, so the last thing that we had shown, the last polished thing we had shown was um, sort of the quarry exterior, which was an art test of all of our kind of lighting and material treatments and how we deal with uh, real world exterior spaces. And this was our test of how we deal with interior spaces. So this is um, like a first pass at the headquarters. Yeah, lobby, this is the headquarters which... lobby. Uh, so you can see some of the cool uh, iconography. You can see the quarry actually out there. Could end up looking a lot different. But it will definitely look a lot different. Um, it's a little bit of a shoebox right now, despite being lovingly decorated and super cool looking. Mm -hmm. nice uh, it's not there's not really you know platforming affordances and things to run around on in here. So um, this is getting totally redesigned for the real game, but it does uh, serve as a really cool backdrop um, to show off Raz. Now we don't want to show you any secret brain stuff because the brain stuff I think would be more fun for it to be a surprise. But we can show you some. I think people might be interested to see the early stages of a level? Uh, but basically when you're building out levels, um, you don't start by making it super beautiful right off the bat. You start by using what? very... I know, it's crazy, right? You start by using very simple primitive shapes uh, to sort of block out the level. And that helps you iterate in the design. You can throw whole things out yes. before you've much, made much a lot faster. of pretty, pretty, pretty art. Yes. It. 
And the longer you can spend in your white box, uh, the better it's going to be. So we're trying to get a, a good long um, tail for white box before we move into arting things up. Um, and so our hub is still uh, very much in white box phase right now, as is all of our brain levels. And you can see sort of this is the early version Ooh. of a lot of the quarry area. Um, and you can see all of the player uh, interactables that Raz can climb around on. Is this the Rocket League minute. section where the jet hits a soccer ball around? Yes, this is going to be the, our mini game where you it's actually. Not, we're not really doing that. No. It's, Unless, actually, it's actually a 20 sided die, and the, it's a giant DD yeah. game. <laughs> Wait, I just got an idea. That's also good. That would be awesome. Um, uh, yeah, so where we are right now is where we'll be taking a section of uh, this quarry area up to um, kind of a showable state as our as what we call our first playable, um, which should sort of represent kind of everything, uh, all the different systems uh, in the game all in one place. And so there'll be combat and powers and puzzles and exploration and collectibles and all kinds of stuff like that. So that's our, our big push over the next couple of months for the team right now. Um, and so it's going to actually, for the first time, be like a little chunk of our, our shipping actual game Psychonauts happening. Too. Actual Psychonauts, too. Mm -hmm. Not the garbage that we we're throwing away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something we're not going to maybe throw away. No, we're going to actually, wow. we're, making, we're making shipping content now. Cool. Uh, and not, um, not just testing pipelines. Secret code. Don't show too much of this stuff. It's gonna, a lot of it's going to change. Of course Waterfalls. It's change. I think that's the only reason we can show it is because it's, it's, it's all going to change. Yeah. Uh, I didn't tell Jeff we were showing this stuff. He'll be okay. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Well, just don't say his name. Oh, Jeff. Um, along with uh, you know all of the systems we're working on in pre-production, one of the things that was most important was to get a lot of our core player move set nailed down and implemented, so that we had everything that Raz can do and everything that Raz can interact with in terms of platforming and exploration at a pretty good first pass, so that we can build all that stuff into levels. So that's been a real big focus, especially towards the end of our pre-production. Zach did all the turnarounds, so mm -hmm. those look super sweet now. So the, the feet should should never end up like hanging off to the side right. of the rope like they were doing before. This. This I just noticed, I'm going to fix. Going this way, the yeah. rope is it's a little below. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to take a look. This, I think this is like... No, it shouldn't look like that. It's good. It's really good right now. This is... Um, <laughs> I'm glad you like it. If the primitives and moves are at this level coming out of pre-production, we are in really good shape. Okay. Cool. Um, and then we can nitpick stuff as it becomes the most horrible thing that's in the game, because this is actually pretty good. And a lot of our efforts have been into building out, you know, getting all his old moves up and running, and then building a bunch of uh, new moves that are new to Psychonauts 2. New moves. New moves. This is exciting. New moves. Uh, and that one specifically, I just have not gotten around to fix. Look, see, there, that way it's fixed. fine. You just fixed it. I, well, well, he looks all intense and cool. Eventually, the idea there is his levitation ball will be kind of squished against the wall, and he's sort of like oh, riding it down, gonna... and then he'll spring off it. Oh, neat. Okay. Yeah. That is awesome. And uh, one th uh, piece of news we did not have slacker backers available when we launched this project because Fig was so new, it didn't even have that yet. But now uh, Fig has implemented the, the advanced technology to allow Slacker backers. So if you are uh, fabulous backers, have any friends who want to get involved in the project and support it even now, um, you can do that. Just go to our Fig page and there should be some instructions about how you can become a Slacker backer. Is there other some other exciting things? We mentioned uh, Rhombus of Ruin and we are actually going to be doing a physical copy of Rhombus of Ruin. There you go. Even though it's virtual reality, the disc is going to be Real. R. Reality. Reality, reality. So look for that. PR. Physical. Physical reality. Yeah, PR. Yeah. Look for Rome's Ruin PR. We can't call it that. No. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for backing. And we'll see you next see time. See you next time.